A feature of stack graphics that everyone should learn to use is the select field that appears on every data input dialog box. The select field allows you to analyze subsets of your data without having to make any changes to the data in the data book. For example, the dialog box you see here requests an analysis of miles per gallon in highway driving for a sample of automobiles. It requests, however, that you, the program select only cars that weigh more than 2,500 pounds. A number of different things can be placed in that select field. One of the things that can be put there are some special operators. For example, if you typed first 30 into the select field, the procedure would analyze only the first 30 rows of the data file. Or if you put last 30, it would analyze only the last 30 rows. If you put random 30, it would pick 30 rows at random and only analyze those. You can also use an operator called rows to analyze data within a range of rows. For example, typing rows 11, 40 the way I have tells the program to pull the data only from rows ranging from 11 through 40. If you want to exclude a single row and analyze every other row, you can type something like exclude 15, which would analyze all the data except row 15. You can also condition on one or more variables in your data file. If you type something like weight greater than 2500, the program will only analyze observations in your data file for which weight is greater than 2500. The operators you need to be familiar with are greater than, less than, greater or equal, less than or equal, equal, and the one at the bottom which is the way we indicate not equal, less than, greater than. Note also that if the variable, the column you're conditioning on like make is character, then the value you're matching needs to be enclosed in double quotes. Also, while the variable names weight and make are not case sensitive, anything within double quotes is case sensitive. You can also combine more than one condition together using AND and OR operators. The expression at the top here asks the program to select observations for which weight is greater than 2500 and horsepower is greater than 100. To be selected, a row would have to meet both of those conditions. If you type weight greater than 2500 or horsepower greater than 100 using a vertical bar for OR, then a row would be selected if it met either one or the other or both of the conditions. If your expression gets a little complicated and you want to make sure that things are done the way you intend, you can add parentheses. For example, at the bottom I've asked for a condition that make equals Ford, so I would get only Fords, and also that either weight were great, was greater than 2500 or horsepower was greater than 100. By use of these types of expressions in the select field, you can do a lot of very interesting analyses without ever disturbing your data.